Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, fuck it, I'm going in. Hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. We can roll blunts on the shitter. Oh man, what is good? I actually just want to do a little review on these speed and strength cruise missile gloves. I don't know. I don't know if I can recommend them. I mean, I paid full price for them. I see them on sale now for about $59 Canadian. That's 60 bucks Canadian. I think I paid like 80 bucks Canadian for them when I first got them. And I've been wearing them the last uh, couple rides I've been on just to kind of get a feel for them again. And I mean, they're okay. They're not bad, but they're not worth 80 bucks. I mean, they, they offer basically minimum minimum protection. They're just, they're just your basic leather gloves. They're just your basic leather gloves. Nothing special about them. They just have the, uh, the gel, the gel palms. They're leather, they're full leather all the way around. And they go up above, uh, just above the wrist. I mean, they look cool for that retro look. They're okay, they're not horrible, but the thing is, is like the stitching in the palm, I just felt at least for a little while there. Now right there, right where my finger is kind of touching, right in there, I felt the stitching was just kind of like, they would push a lot in my, like the pressure points. So like the first like two months of me wearing these, I've had thousands of kilometers on these motherfuckers, just so you guys know. So I can, I can say this, the, the, wear, the wear on them is decent. The wear on them is decent. But I didn't like the pressure point. It made my hand tired and sore longer after a while. I, I mean, for the sake of another like 30 bucks, you could probably get a way better glove with palm sliders and knuckle protection. I would say go for it. I guess, I guess if you're in a cruisers and shit, or like some retro, you know, cafe racer thing. These are pretty cool gloves. Because when you really look at them, like, look, there's my right glove. It's faded. There's my left glove. It's not. So you guys see what I mean? So I know that when you're riding motorcycles, you probably see me do things like this a lot. Right? You know what I mean? Or I'll have my arm, my arm on my lap or whatever. So I get that the right glove is more faded, but I don't do it that often where it's, it should be that noticeable. So I don't know how, like, how good the dyes and the leather are or whatever, but they're not horrible gloves. They're not horrible gloves. I mean, there's definitely better. So these are okay. I would say these gloves at a rating out of like 10, I'll give them a five. If you just like your basic leather glove, by all means, get these up. But if you want a little bit more protection, these are these are not the gloves for you. I just find that your basic fucking leather glove, nothing special about them. Nothing worth 70 bucks for. Yeah, but seriously, like right in here, right in there, that's where I was getting the pressure points, like right there, but on this hand. I was getting them right on this line here right on that stitch. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I don't get them now, but it took like two months of me wearing them. But these, I have a couple thousand kilometers on them. So you can see they're not completely worn out, but they're faded quite a bit. So I don't know if these gloves are worth, you know, 70 bucks. Like I said, I mean, I've seen them for sale now for about 59 Canadian plus tax, but that's them. I don't know, they're okay. But I, I can't really say, oh, hey, these are a great deal. Go and get them. They're priced great. It's just not my cup of tea. So if you guys are looking in the Speed and Strength Cruise Missile Gloves, and you're like, oh, I wonder how they are. They're all right just for your basic leather gloves. Otherwise, go get something with more protection. Peace.